Hi guys, Cyril again. At the end of the day, you can either focus on what's tearing you apart or you can, you can focus on what's keeping you together. Today, we're going to talk about why me. You know, why me? Why you? Um, the last video we did was on uh, not complaining. I got a lot of feedback of people yeah. telling me, yeah, I'm complaining. I'm complaining because it's just too much. It's just too much. I can't take it anymore. Why me? Why is all this happening only to me? But I have news for you today. If it's happening to you, it's because your calling is great. And this is not me trying to make you feel like, okay, I don't want you to complain or I don't want you to just, you know, I'm just being real with you, right? You can either focus on, what, on what's tearing you apart or you can focus on what's keeping you together. If it's happening to you, it's because you have a great calling. Struggles don't happen to people that don't have a great calling. That person that doesn't have any goal, that doesn't have nothing to look up to, that doesn't have nothing to achieve, they don't struggle. You know why? Because their life is okay. <laughs> they, they, they content themselves with the little that they have. But the people that have great, a great calling, the people that are looking for greatness, people that, that wake up in the morning with a lot of great ideas, will always meet struggles on their way. You know why? Because it's a test. You're not just going to just achieve that greatness without being tested. How are you going to get there? If you get to that greatness, are you going to sustain the greatness or are you going to be great and then come back down? You know? So most of the time we look at struggles and we just, again, we complain, we complain, we complain, but we don't think, we don't stop and think and say, wow, what's the lesson I'm learning in this journey, in this struggle, in this, this, this journey of struggle? Okay, this issue just happened to me. Pause and tell yourself, hmm, what's the universe trying to tell me? What's the lesson? Am I going to just keep complaining or I'm going to start taking the lesson out of every struggle, every struggle that I, I go through? Am I going to just sit down and say, oh, why me all the time? I just solved this issue yesterday and today this other issue is happening. Why is this issue happening to you? Ask yourself that question. Why? Why is it not happening to your friend that really has nothing, you know, that, that's just cool. That's not, he's living his same old, same old everyday life. Why is it happening to you that have so much aspiration to be great? Why is it happening to you that's always compassionate and empathetic towards the people around you? Ask yourself those questions. What's the lesson to be learned in this struggle? Why am I going through this? I already went through this last month. I fixed my car. Today I have another bump on it. I have another accident. This morning I woke up, there's another issue. Yes, all those issues is happening. Why? Because you have a big plan. You have a plan to, I don't know, build a business. You have a plan to create your startup. You have a plan to help someone go back to school. You have a plan to do all those great plans that we have. We we'll always meet road bombs because there's something called life. Life is not just going to be smooth, right? If life was just smooth, it would be boring. So as you go through those bumps, as you go through those, those hurdles, as you go through those struggles, you're learning, you're growing, you're building your mental muscles. You're building your mental muscles. Don't always tell yourself, why me? Don't fall into the complaining, same old, same old, self-sabotaging you know, type of mentality. Don't do that. Take the lesson out of the struggle. Ask yourself, what is the lesson to be learned in this struggle? All right? Tell yourself, this issue is coming for a reason. This is not a mistake. This is not a coincidence. This is a divine timing. Why? Why always every time in this, every, every month, every specific month in the year, I go through this struggle? Why? You know? So, for people that have a great calling, there's always going to be a challenge for you to achieve that calling. The greater the calling, the greater the struggle. The greater the calling, the greater the struggle. You know? So don't ask yourself, why me? Tell yourself, I know why I'm going through this. Because when I come out of this, 
I'm going to be stronger mentally. I'm going to have enough experience to be able to resolve this the next time it comes or to help someone resolve this when they go through what I've been through already. Tell yourself, my calling is great. That's why I'm struggling. Tell yourself, the greater my calling, the greater my struggles. So now you're shifting your mindset. When the struggles come, you're not going to be complaining. You're going to be enjoying yourself in the moment. And guess what? When you do that, even your haters will be shocked, right? Because there's always those people, I call them the dream killers, those people that stand on the corner and just smile at, at people's struggles, right? And they like, they're happy to see you or your face down. Oh my God, again, it happened to me again, you know? But when you're happy, you're smiling, going through your struggles, you confuse even your haters. And be mindful of who you tell your struggles to because 20% of the people are happy is you and 80% of people don't care. Let me say it again. Be mindful of who you share your struggle with. 20% of the people are happy is happening to you. And 80% of the people you're speaking to don't really care. They'll listen and they'll say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, wow, sorry. No, they don't really care. 80% don't care. 20% are happy is happening to you, not them. So you want to be mindful. Be very discerning when you want to share your story. I know it's good to share because it takes a load off your shoulder. Be very discerning who you're sharing your story with. Is this someone that's going to uplift you, take their time and put your head on their shoulder so that you could cry and feel better? Is this someone that's going to have great advice for you when you finish sharing? Is this someone that's going to have a listening ear for you? Is this someone that's going to really take time and plant a seed in your heart so that you could grow out of that struggle? Be mindful. Make a choice. Don't spend your time into the things that are going to bring you down. Spend your time in the things that are going to uplift you. Because if it's happening to you, it's happening to you for a reason. If it's happening to you, it's happening to you because your calling is greater than your struggles. It's happening to you because your calling is greater than, than, than everything else around you. So you don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. You don't want to tell yourself that enough is enough. It's too much. I can't do it. No. You want to tell yourself, guess what? I'm strong enough to achieve my calling. I'm strong enough to fulfill my purpose. I'm strong enough to be so great. I could look back and help other people that need, my, that need me. What's the word for today? Why me? Why not you? Why not you go through the struggles? We are here today because we brave those struggles. Remember, I was raised by a single mother of three, hardworking woman. I was bullied, abused. But guess what? Looking back today, my story makes me who I am today. My story makes me who I am today. My story makes me who I am today. So it's not why me, it's why not me. Your calling is greater than your struggles. So slow down with the complaint and work hard to attain what you need. Thank you. Peace.